This is the BZG 5-in-1 Survival Bracelet. These have been around for a while on the internet, and I'm sure you've seen them on YouTube videos. I've wanted one for a long time, but I didn't spend a lot of time searching. But I came across this one on November 11th of this year, which was Veterans Day. And at the local tractor supply, no affiliation, there was a booth set up in the vestibule where a lovely gentleman who was also a veteran was selling merchandise from BZG. It has 10 feet of 550 paracord. This burnt nub right here is where you unravel it. You would flip the left side of the paracord over the burnt nub and it would unravel. This is the serrated cutting tool and a striker. This is the whistle and the compass. The whistle is actually pretty loud. I had to turn the volume down. This is also the striker for the ferro rod, which is found right here. The easiest way to strike the ferro rod is to invert the bracelet. And it's a little bit difficult only because of the clasp. But keep watching, you'll see a good spark. A couple of good ones, actually. While I'm having fun playing with fire, let me tell you a little bit about BZG. Founded in 2020, Bravo Zulu Gear, Bravo Zulu Foundation Incorporated is a veteran-owned, operated business formed out of the growing need to provide for and look after our combat veterans with post-traumatic mental and physical difficulties. Through their network of veterans programs scattered across the United States, they can get them the help they need locally. Their recent projects include Mission 22, which provides support to veterans and their families when they need it most right now. Shamrock Reigns is a nonprofit 501 charitable organization formed February 10, 2014, to provide equine assisted activities and therapies for veterans. Mayhem's K9 Corps is a veteran owned and operated company offering obedience and assistance dog training. Here you'll see me demonstrating the serrated edge of the bracelet. It cuts pretty good. It's not very sharp, but it's good in a pinch. And the last recent project of BZG is the GIGO Fund, which has supported veterans, military spouses, and all those in need since 2006 with employment, housing, education, benefits, health care, and more. I found the serrated edge to be made well and fairly sharp, but it was a little bit awkward to use. Now this trunk bark is wet, but as you notice, it's shaving off a lot of little pieces of wood. And if this was dry, a spark from that ferro rod would definitely ignite a fire. Not a bad little tool. For my little wrist, I really don't have to snap this on. For a man-sized wrist, you would. A little bit awkward, but once it's on, it's on good. And a little modeling. <laughs> and it's so easy for me to just take right off. So, in case I'm worried about losing it, I can just fold it and put it into a front pocket where it fits very well with my keys and other things, or, Put it in the back pocket where you know it's going to stay. I hope you enjoyed this review and please check the description box for more information about BZG.